What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video we're taking a look at some of the new plugins in Studio One Six, uh, specifically the Pro EQ3 and the Deesser. Yes, finally Studio One has added a Deesser, and we're going to be comparing these to some of my go-to plugins for the same type of plugins, uh, the Waves F6 for dynamic EQ and Wave Sibilance for deessing. This isn't a actual apples to apples comparison because these plugins uh, each have different features, but I say let's have some fun with this. Quick thoughts on the new plugins added in Studio One 6. I think it's great, but I feel it's a little late. And by that, I just mean that I feel like most users who need a dynamic EQ or a DSer have already purchased third party ones. But in this video, we'll take a look and see how they compare to these Waves plugins and I'll be making a determination if this will replace these two Waves plugins for me as they're my go-to dynamic EQ and DSer. So we're gonna start with the Pro EQ3 versus the Waves F6, which is Waves Dynamics EQ. Uh, this is an artist named Ayana Janae. And I've got the Pro EQ3 and the F6 on the track, which is the first track. And we've got it side chained to the vocal. So when the vocal is going, it's adding some dynamic EQ to the track, which is just opening up some of the mid range and high mids uh, just to have the vocal cut through some. Uh, so uh, first, let's go over uh, just some of these controls real quick. So Pro EQ3, brand new. Let's rip the plastic off this. We can add the dynamic section in and out by clicking this dynamics button, which I really like because taking it out, if you don't need the dynamic EQ feature, just makes it more cleaner and just brings it as a standard EQ at the dynamics. And then we click this D to turn on the dynamics for the dynamic EQ for those bands. Uh, we also have solo here as well that was added. In comparison to F6, I immediately noticed that F6 just does a lot more. Uh, with F6, we have mid and side pro mid and mid side processing, and we also have attack and release. We have control over that, and uh, we also have more bands with uh, F6. We've got six bands, six parametric bands, uh, whereas on uh, Pro EQ3 we have five. And one thing I really like about F6 is that, you know, as I hover along the frequency here, you can see in the upper right, it is telling me uh, what note that frequency represents. With Pro EQ, they still have not added that, and I'm surprised. We do have the piano roll at the bottom that can, you know, kind of tell you, but you have to know what notes these are for that. Uh, just odd to me, because if you look at the spectrum, meter and this has been the same as studio one five you know we can hover over the frequency spectrum and it'll tell us the note as well so uh, very surprised that wasn't added in uh, the pro eq3 here uh, but both of these were doing uh 6 db range on the dynamic eq uh, for 500 hertz 1k and a 5k shelf on the top and uh, right now there's no other processing on uh, the vocal, but uh, of course the vocal will be adding the DS or to it shortly. Uh, so let's start with the Pro EQ. I'll play that and then we'll play the F6. My man's all make tracks like this. Catch me on the highway lately. I've been on the move. Catch you on the flip side, baby. I got shit to do Blinders on laser focus Don't care what's in my rear view Because I don't plan to lose All right, now waves F6 My man's all make tracks like this Catch me on the highway lately I've been on the move Catch you on the flip side, baby I got shit to do Blinders on laser focus Don't care what's in my rear view Because I Don't plan to lose Alright, so Between those two I mean as far as the sound goes I feel like it's a toss up uh, For me it's really going to come down to the functionality Between these two While the F6 has more Features available on it 
I do like the simplicity of the Pro EQ. Without attack and release, you can just dial in a little quicker. And this automatic attack and release on the Pro EQ 3 works really well to me. So I don't think that the uh, Pro EQ 3 is going to replace the F6 for me, but because of its simplicity, I think for right now I will start reaching for the Pro EQ 3. And then if I need to do something outside of what the Pro EQ 3 can do, then I'll go to the F6. But I do like how quickly I can dial in uh, the Pro EQ 3. Now, as you heard there, we got a few S's sticking out, and I tried to tame that with that uh, with the dynamic EQ on the high shelf, uh, bringing down some 5K, which obviously didn't work, as you can hear. So let's try to deal with that with the deesser. So here's the new deesser plug-in in Studio One Six, and here's my go-to deesser from Waves, uh, Sibilance. Looking at the controls on the PreSonus DSR, really clean UI here, few features, straightforward, uh, should be pretty quick to dial in. Uh, starting from the far right, we have range, a full and gentle. I'm assuming gentle is going to be a, a less reduction, while full will probably uh, go pretty hard at it. And uh, shape, oh, we've got narrow and wide, which is a standard setting for... Uh, a deesser s reduction i like that this says s reduction and not just you know reduction it just reminds you that we're controlling the s's here and uh, we have solo and listen which is going to let you uh, listen to uh, what the deesser is taking out or listen to what the deesser is hearing and then of course frequency with sibilance it detects the s for you so we have no frequency selection here which i really like i don't have to worry about trying to find what frequency the s is at sibilance is going to do that for you uh with the shape on the personas ds so we got narrow and wide with uh, the mode on the sibilance we can go anywhere between all the way wide all the way split or anywhere in between uh, since i have the shape on the PreSonus DS are set to wide. I've just went 100% wide on this. Normally, I'm 50-50 on this. The sibilance is so easy to dial in. I generally just have to adjust the threshold to get what I want, and I'm good. I can dial it in uh, that quickly. Uh, now, this is the default frequency at 6.8, which I think is a good uh, starting point for a DS. -er. I, I like this uh, frequency starting point. Uh, but let's take a listen to these. Uh, let's start with the PreSonus uh, DS. -er. Make tracks like this. Catch me on the highway lately. I've been on the move. Catch you on the flip side, baby. I got shit to do. Blind is on laser focus. Don't care what's in my review. Because I don't plan to lose. Okay. Before we even play Sullivan's, I will say uh, the PreSonus DSer is a lot better than what I thought it would be. Like it's n it's not darkening of the vocal. I'm sure if I you know hit this uh, threshold even harder, it will. But just where I have it at right now, it's not darkening the vocal, and it's really controlling that S. Uh, let's check out Wave Sibilance now. My man's all make tracks like this. Catch me on the highway lately I've been on the move Catch you on the flip side, baby I got shit to do Blinders don't laser focus Don't care what's in my rear view Because I don't plan to lose Okay, so Sibilance is doing a great job too far as the sound i say it's a toss-up on these two definitely comment and let me know what you think but same way with pro eq and f6 because i can dial it in just a little quicker i'd probably still reach for sibilance first and then if it's not doing what i want it to do and i need something that's going to really dial in the frequency i can see myself using the presonus deesser but again i'm really impressed by the deesser it's working it really is working better than what i expected and with the with sibilance also you're going to have some more features on here but like i said i don't even generally have to touch those features but we do have a uh, detection feature which is going to change how it detects that s 
and okay, we already looked at the mode. But range, standard feature, uh, threshold. Again, you have monitor as well, just like you do with the PreSonus DSR. Also, like the waveform there, you can see exactly where uh, those S's are hitting it as well. All right, uh, there is a look at Pro EQ 3 versus Waves F6 and Waves Sibilance versus PreSonus uh, DSR. Definitely comment and let me know what you think of these new plugins in Studio One. And do you agree? Is it great but too late? Like, I, again, I just feel like a lot of people already picked up other DSs or uh, dynamic EQs already. But both of these are still good choices, I feel. So they can definitely get some use, even though I feel they're kind of late uh, with adding these. All right, and if you're interested in checking out Wave Sibilance or Waves F6, I will have a link in the description if you want to check it out, learn more about it, or pick it up. Uh, we'll also have a link to the brand new Studio One 6 in the description as well. And hey, what a great time to have PreSonus Sphere. Didn't have to pay anything to get Studio One 6. All right, uh, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. Any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.